Good morning, we're so glad you're here. Hey Daily Vlogs, if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It's race day. Yeah, and Peter is trying to do a personal record for the half marathon. So I'm not vlogging. I might vlog in the corral like before it starts, but I'm not gonna vlog at all during the race. Mm -hmm. Strictly running, strictly right. mental. Taking it on, <laughs> that's the game plan. There's really not a ton of spectator viewing. I I think I'm just gonna be at the finish, the start and the finish I, there's, line. You're, you're able to be at the boardwalk, but I don't think it's official spectator. No, I think it's just, just like ACS it's known. Has a spot to yeah, so if people can get to the boardwalk, you can spectate there, but it's not even it's not advised by Run Disney. There's no spectator viewing spots right. designated by Run Disney. And it's kind of silly. Right, and the issue with that is it's so close to the finish line that by the time I cheered Peter at the boardwalk, I wouldn't be able to see him at the finish line. Yeah. And we always like to um, prioritize the finish line. So I'm probably just gonna hang out with American Cancer Society. Maybe. I don't know, maybe I'll, I don't know, give a different look at different things today, yeah. food, menu, I have the cha stuff. challenge of trying to run a sub two hour half. Sarah's got the challenge of trying to figure out how to <laughs> vlog a half marathon when not being able to watch the half marathon. <laughs> so, let's do it! Our friends were at ACS saving the day again. Steve forgot his banana, so they're gonna help us out and give him an apple. But look, it, it was so windy yesterday that their tent their tent kind of fell apart a little bit, but they're gonna come fix it. But here's our lovely friends helping us out, saving the day, helping fight cancer, helping all of the awesome stuff. And as of yesterday, we're only $358 away from closing out our January fundraiser. And I, that is insane. You guys are the best. This is why, one of the many reasons why I run these things. Um, but American Cancer Society is so great. And Jenna is the best too. She's, we worked at the same college program. But we didn't even know it. Today, now, today half our town fell down. Serendipity. But you I, know what? We'll figure it out. We'll make Hi. it work. We'll make it Hi, work. guys. Um, we're silly. The, if you're staying at a resort, you get bus straight to Magic Kingdom. So I was like, Steve, where are you? Yeah. Come to ACS. And he's like, I'm, I don't know where they are. I'm like, wait, you're at Magic Kingdom, right? And he's like, yeah, we're at Epcot. So we're on the bus. So now we're heading there. On the bus. Go in there. We're already getting nice messages online saying, go Peter, go. We got water. Sarah also pointed out this is the first time I'm not wearing a Run Disney shirt during a Run Disney event. Oh, yeah. I'm little. ripping a ACS singlet and showing off my tattoo. Ooh. You guys are not going to believe the costumes on these. Oh my god. Just say nothing. I have no concern. No concern. It's just one more time. I Please. have an idea. Oh, I just have an idea. My goodness. Take it home. How? You can make a hummus Woo! dressing out of Joe and hummus fries. Chef Donald. I'm going to make and your way on stuff. over. Cash members out there. We want to see you go crazy fun. I don't today. have my phone. Heather, you ready it's in the car. Sorry, I was going to start talking. Peter is and excited, yeah, as you can tell. Cash members, come on but over. But I am not going to have make a way, way to trap him to the front of the until I go back to the car and get it. Are we all here? So today Are will we really here? be a Last miracle call. if I Heather see you right at the there you are. All right, cast members, big smiles. There you go. All right, my buddy Steve is here. Yeah, baby. We're ready. He got me a Martin's with caffeine, so this is going to be mile eight. But he just said the corral bathrooms are terrible compared to these. So I'm going to go try to go to the bathroom and put there. So here is the start line. Right here. So I can't miss him, right? Like, I'm just gonna pay attention. I'm gonna do my best. He knows where I am. I think, I think this is good. We'll be good. I got here early enough where, like literally like, they're gonna run right there. I can't miss him, right? All right, in Corral C today. Got here right after it opened. Good morning, thank you. Gonna be able to get my way real close to the front. We're about an hour before start time. These corrals move much quicker than any other day, so I think I'm gonna be starting around 4.45, 4.50 tops. We're about to move our corral, but we're trying to let the last of the corral be 
yeah, ahead of us before we move in. Almost time, 15 minutes to start. Ready, three, two, one. I am determined. Here comes he. Woohoo! Come here, <laughs> Okay, I am so happy that I did not miss him today. So happy. Um, Jen and Kay Adams from Theme Park Ohana, they were actually um, at the starting line too, so it was nice that I had some company, so that was awesome. So my plan now is to go get on the bus, get over to Epcot, go to the car to get my phone. Um, ooh, fireworks! Um, and maybe hang out at the ACS tent, or maybe try to cheer at the boardwalk. I'm gonna, by the time I get there, Peter will, I'll have gotten an update of Peter probably hitting the 5K mark and that'll show me his pace. So I'll kind of gauge my time better then. So I did want to give a little bit more information just about the event grounds in today's vlog. So like down there, there's first aid, there's always a Joffrey's um, food slash coffee truck, and then a food and beverage tent. It's pretty, just simple menu, but um, it is nice they do have some hot food. And then there's also always an information tent if you have questions or if you have um, things to pick up, there's also baby care over there. It's definitely an overwhelming event, your first go around. Even though things like change here and there, um, from race to race or year to year, um, but like once you do one, you kind of get the swing of things. So it is nice that they are so helpful and so informative. Don't be overwhelmed if you think like, Oh, like, I don't want to do that because it just seems really intense. Like, it really is approachable. And don't let, like, the big production of it all stop you from trying it out. I was greeted by this message when I got in the car that he crossed the 5K at 6.03 with a pace of 7.58 minute per mile. That'll probably waver as, like, he gets into the higher miles that is an incredible pace but i know that he's got so much like adrenaline and whatnot at, right at the very beginning so it is 6 17 now he'll probably well he'll definitely finish between seven and eight um so i i think that trying to get over to the boardwalk would just be cutting it too short oh my goodness peter is killing it it is 7 11 he started at five like 40 Oh my gosh, he is definitely going to get his goal. So I'm heading over there now. I knew that he was going to get his goal. Like I knew that that was going to happen, but he is even doing better than we both expected. So I'm so excited. Okay, so I totally just realized that this map is so wrong. This is like in a neighborhood. Congratulations, the actual finish line is over here. So I do not know where Peter is. So Kay and Jen are with me. They got a good spot. Can I see your sign? Awesome. Peter, Sarah, Megan, and Amy. But Peter should be crossing soon. So now we wait. There we go. I did it. Awesome. You all right? Yeah. Good. And the band -aids. <laughs> I'll make sure that I got my challenge medal. Okay. okay. Awesome. I did it. My watch says one hour and 49 minutes. I haven't had a chance to check it what the unofficial uh, chip time is, but beautiful medals. I did my Strava app says I averaged 820. <laughs> which is by far one of the best runs I've ever done in my, in my I think it is the best run I've ever done in my life. Awesome. Right. It was a lot of fun. Look how salty. Hold on, I gotta try and get this. Um, this I think it was because I wasn't sweating really? profusely. Yeah, I think I had a slow sweat. You're super salty. <laughs> I see my boy Steve over there. It's been his 219. Steve! You did it! 
154, I think. Congratulations. I'll, we'll see you down there. Oh, I feel good. Yeah. 149. That's crazy. I know it's awesome. Cause think like 11 minutes before your goal is like almost like a minute a mile. Wow. So we are at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're gonna get some boma for breakfast. Here is my first place. I have stewed tomatoes, tear tarts. There's an avocado, grapefruit, cantaloupe salad, and some quinoa. We had a special order um, waffles, Mickey waffles, and then also a tofu scramble. I'm honestly kind of disappointed. I don't think that there were as many options as we thought. What did you think? So, pre round one with all this deliciousness. I want a game plan because we got this handed to us when we were in line. So I'm going to get a good look at that after I eat all this to get a really good round two. Much later. All right. We have a lot of A lot of that. <laughs> Since we last filmed, which was at Boma for breakfast. Well, first of all, we didn't do the best job vlogging at Boma. No. We were figuring out like the options that we could eat, and then Peter started to not feel good, yeah. belly-wise. Yeah. Um, but Which happens from time to time again when I do long runs, or I do like stressful runs. And right. today, I, like, I pushed my speed, so it wasn't super surprising. But then when we went home, I fought that all afternoon. Yeah. I took a little bit of a nap. I edited the vlog. I edited the vlog. We watched Signs because that's like a classic family movie of ours that we love. So. If you were watching the other day when we bought all those <laughs> all those uh, movies on Apple TV with our gift cards, that's the last movie we bought with that gift card. Yeah. With Signs. Yeah. We just relaxed, had dinner, leftover chili. Right. And now we are at Epcot to do the Run Disney post-race extravaganza. Ooh. We've never done one of these before yeah. because if you're not a racer, a runner, yeah. it costs money. Yeah. Um, a lot of money. Yeah. 85 bucks. 85 bucks. So Steve had, what, got a ticket, but he had to go home because he is not like, he's Florida local, but he's not Orlando local. Yeah. Um, well, guys, I'm local. Um, so he gave me his ticket, which was so nice. Our entire sole reason for coming into Norway is to look at these sweaters. I told Sarah, if we ever move somewhere cold again, I have to get one of these. Yeah. Before we that one. Yeah, I like that one. So I like the little nod to the Norway flag. Sarah smelled something awfully delicious. And it was cotton candy. They're still doing that back here? I guess. With the different they, colors? They stopped at the festival and moved it back here. If China ever renovates its pavilion, I'm taking this with me. For real. This used to be Peter's like Epcot photo op tradition. Every every vacation I would take, I would just sit here and smile. Thank you so much, Disney World. Okay, so that was Chris Allen. You might know him from American Idol. Did he um, win? I think so, yeah. He was good. Yeah, he was really good. And now we're going to watch Epcot Forever before the party starts. I'm not vlogging it. But we're not going to vlog Because we're going to vlog the, the later fireworks. Yeah, and I feel like we haven't really just like really taken in this but yet. But we will so. say, you need to be by a good speaker for, yeah, that's Ep our, for Epcot Forever. Yeah, that's our and biggest so, piece of advice when getting a spot for it. As you can hear, we're by a really good speaker, so yeah. we're really gonna be able to enjoy it. And our friends from ACS, I think, are coming over to meet us. So this the girls looks like my, got oh, some thank stuff you. from Africa shrimp. Oh, and then this is Because you're just like around. Yeah, it's delicious. Can't wait. I realize like, we've never seen you guys outside of the tent. <laughs> but here you that's are. Not Office. Oh, you're right. We did come to the office. Jenna and Kyra and Isaac. Oh my god, this is so uh, I mean, good. Right outside. Three caballeros are meeting in the Mexico Pavilion. And this is the line. 
I don't even see an end. Oh, all the way over there at the beginning of the bridge. Now it's time to wine, dine, and party. So raise your drink and hold your medal high as we cheers high. to 10 years. Woo! Yes. Cheers and congratulations, baby. Let's pick this thing up. Come on. It's officially your after party right here at beautiful Epcot. Wine and dine. All my friends out there that ran the 5K. Yo, she's great. All right, shimmering sips and we got the banana, almond, soft serve, sundae, but with no chocolate. Fancy pan. They're taking pictures with their light. This is so delicious. It is Have you tried divine, it? Fine, yes. I wish we could. I, I wish we brought some like chocolate in our pockets to put on top because that would be really good. I want to get this every time we come here between now and the end of the festival. I want this five more times for the end of the festival. <laughs> it's only four dollars. I'm salivating because this is so good. Mm. You love it? I love it. What are the Cheer. flavors? Cheers with me. This is great. Uh, Tropical, Tropical key lime blood orange. Congrats to Great Wine you. and Dine Week. I had a yingling at the last spot. Key lime, mm -hmm. and then this is blood orange. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. Oh. We're leaving because it's tiring and, and we, we need to... And we have work to Yes. These weekends are so fun, but they go by so fast. Run we're Disney so busy. weekends. Right, we're busy and we're editing and trying to catch my sleep, so... Yeah. And eating properly and oh my running. my goodness, yeah. So it's wild that we're already like back to the work week. We thought there was going to be another set of fireworks. But they kept saying the special toast to commemorate the 10th anniversary of Wine and Dine. And everyone thought there was going to be like fireworks, but it was literally like... A toast. A toast. We are home and today is November 3rd, Sunday. The message from today, a great attitude becomes a great mood, a great mood becomes a great day, a great day becomes a great year, and a great year becomes a great life. We gotta sign off and go to bed, but not without showing you one last time all my awesome bling because I want to thank each and every one of you I want to thank ACS I want to thank everybody who was able to share our link and donate to our link because you guys do so much good for American Cancer Society and those who are fighting cancer and those whose family members are fighting cancer here's our medal for the 5k Friday morning the nice 10K with our friends Sven and Olaf, Saturday morning. And that is one half of the two course challenge. The other one being the half marathon. My pre I actually PR'd Saturday on the 10K, Sunday on the 10K, and Sunday on the half marathon, finishing at one hour and 49 minutes. Absolutely incredible. And that and this right here is my favorite medal ever. The two course challenge. Look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. The three circles for the two caballero spin. It is amazing. So thank you guys. Your guys' words of encouragement, your support throughout the training, your messages when it comes to donating, when it comes to just supporting us in the running and asking questions and suggesting how to do different things has been a world's difference. But most importantly, my little friend over here has been the most helpful, most supportive. So thank you, Sarah. You're Couldn't welcome. have done it without you. I'm and super proud of you. Come over here so we can sign off now, because it is late. It's, it's good to be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.